You know one of the things that makes me jealous about Amigo? Carly gives him a bath. Can I be next? Like he just likes it. Hi, Amigo. He's being a good boy. Say hi. Like he's not nearly as bitey as he used to be. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. He's like an I'm actual well-behaved dog now. Look he's at like, this weird black stripe he has on like him so right there. He's like so mellow. It's like one. Do you see that blonde? That's funny. Patch of black hair. It's because we found his puppy teeth, and they have been falling out. I wonder if you can see, babe. Look, Amigo, show them your teeth. Come here. Ready? Let's show them your teeth. So look on the top row, like right here. Oh yeah, you can see them. You can see them falling out and coming in. Sorry, I had to show dad your teeth. Like you like your bath, Amigo? His, seriously, like it's like his attitude like completely changed. Except like, for last night. Uh, oh my gosh, it was gross last night. He, uh, you were taking a, probably taking a bath because she just got home from her hip hop class and I, was doing something. And I came in the room and I, I lay you're down on the bed. Like undressed or something, or like brushing your teeth. Yeah, and we had taken Amigo out and everything. We were like getting ready for bed, like probably two minutes from getting in bed. And the uh, I looked over and the bed, Amigo was like laying there, his paw was wet, and I was like, what the heck? I'm like, so I'm gonna turn the light on and I looked. He had peed right where she sleeps. Why does he do that? And he hasn't done that. He's in that one at the time when he was a like a brand new puppy and didn't like really understand. And we were like, what the heck? So we But then I up... read something a long time ago about marking his, not marking his territory, but like he's keeping others away. I don't know. I could not understand this like dog hippie article. And I was like, what? Yeah, so then our bed looks like this. We slept, had to take all the blankets and the sheets off, which sucks because you just washed those. Yeah, this week. Yeah. On Monday. Yeah, so, that's Yeah, we gotta wash them okay. again. But, oh my gosh, that is like the hardest thing on your back. Amigo, he loves the water. Yeah, he does. When, I wish you would have been in here when I first did that and the bubbles. Did it scare him? He was like, what was that? What was oh, that? and don't worry, Amigo ate a donut this morning. Got one off of a plate on the counter. I brought it to you. On the nightstand, I mean. Laid it by your bed, and we walked away for five seconds. Just eating a donut. Huh. Oh, it kind of makes me go pee when I hear that. That little trickle. Well, anyways, that's an Amigo bath. Yeah. We're going to hang out today. we got a lot of stuff so to do, and then we're driving down to Northern Utah for a baseball tournament. Coop's first baseball game is today, so it should be fun. Okay. Say bye. Oh, and that's what those NLA bottles are good for. Hog baths. <laughs> bye, Miko. Hey, Miko. Miko. Hey, say bye. Say bye. Say bye, guys. Where are we headed? Baseball games. We're headed to Tremont. Baseball. Our life's about to be taken over by baseball. Hey. All right, let's go over a couple of things. No matter what, you're going to be happy. Have a good attitude. Have a good time. If your coach gives you a critique or gives you something to work on, what do you say? Okay. No. Thank you. You say thank you no matter what, right? <laughs> He's not interested in talking about that. We're headed to a baseball tournament. We're going to play, it's like a, an elimination. Oh, Tournament, so they play until they lose. Tonight they play Wolverine, and then it depends on if they win or lose their games tomorrow. If they win tonight, then they play another game tomorrow, and then if they win that one, then they play another one. And we're having like a team little barbecue, so it's a lot for eight year olds. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. But whatever. It's better to be active doing something than nothing, huh? You guys, Idaho is getting warm. It's 76 today. I think the only thing I want to be right now is not active. <laughs> I know. Our sleep schedule this week has been... It was a long week. It's like, I, I think you would have slept fine, but I really ruined it for you. I kept waking up and then you'd wake up. Jackson sleeps like I could never... If he was my mom, I could not sneak out of the house because as soon as I like barely roll over, he'll wake up and be like, are you okay, babe? I used to like, sneak yeah. out of the house all the time. You did? I never snuck oh, out. Oh my gosh. One time Jackson snuck out of the house and his mom went down and found that he was gone. So 
she locked the doors and left a note on the door and he crawled through the dock where it got stuck and his mom found him and she was just standing there like, what are you doing? He was naughty. People want to hear your naughty stories. Uh, I'll tell you a story. I don't know what's on my record or what isn't on my record. So okay. I'll tell you one time I uh, was with my friend Mikey and my friend Mason and friend Jordan. Is this a train story? No. Oh. And like, anyways, like we're there. We, my friend Mikey just got a new Toyota 4Runner. It was snowing, and we were in the church parking lot. I'm like pretty good at driving, and I was teaching him how to do donuts in the church parking lot. We had like nine people in our car, and that's the thing you do in Utah. You go into the church parking lot late at night, and you spin donuts, and you drive like a maniac. And we were doing it for like 45 minutes, just having fun. We fell. We weren't hurting anybody. There were no cars in the parking lot. Just like sliding. All of a sudden we get surrounded by cops and they have their lights on and sirens coming and I was like, oh crap, because I was 15 years old and I didn't have a driver's license. Guy gets out of the car, the main cop, walks over, taps his flashlight, I roll down the window and I realize it's my neighbor. And so he did me a favor, instead of throwing me in jail for driving underage without a driver's license, breaking the law by reckless driving and having like nine people in a five passenger car, he decided to call my mom. Yeah, Sid, get him. And I almost wish that he would have taken me to jail. <laughs> because my mom shows up and there are girls in the car, you know, when you're 15, you're like trying to puff your chest out and impress everyone. And I was doing a pretty good job of impressing everyone. They were all terrified and wishing that they weren't in the car. I can guarantee you. No, it was fun. Guaranteed. Every single person was laughing and having fun. All of us. Because they were too afraid to be themselves and be like, this is dangerous. Take me home. It wasn't dangerous. There was like two feet of snow. We were just sliding around. And uh, it was so embarrassing because my mom was pissed. And all of a sudden, the truck pulls out my mom's truck. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. No, just take me to jail. <laughs> My mom came and got me out of the car. Cigarette Sid, she regulated. Yeah, my sister, my little sister calls me little Sid Vicious. See, I heard, there's just something inside of me that's like terrified. There were these two guys, Sean and Chad in high school, and they were known for driving the scariest. And they had this little, Chad had this little truck, it was like a geo tracker, and they would drive without the lights on. And I remember one time I was like, you are pulling this table over, I'm going home, I'm not riding with you. Because I was so afraid of getting in a wreck. I'm still afraid. <laughs> Ask Jax, we barely slide. I'm like, <gasps> drive careful. I hate it. So, note to self, don't try to show off in a car You know what's a really, really fun thing to do? Yes. Listen, YouTube, you know, one of my favorite things to do is take my wife on a jet ski. No, I will never get on a jet ski with you, and I never have, never will. I made Logan almost cry. <laughs> Logan was screaming like a girl, like, ah! But he rolled the jet ski four times that I saw. And it doesn't, you can't, I mean, you could get hurt if you're going like super fast, but what they were doing was just like fun, but I will never get on a jet ski with my husband. Made to roll. Unless I'm driving. He's scary. No way. Never say never. Never, I never will. Yeah, never, never say never. Never say never. Made it to the game. I'm sitting up shop. Did Grandma call you out on your Shaterica story? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go another foot, Carl. Oh, scoot, scoot. Amigo just wants to sniff everybody. Look, he doesn't he look pretty? I gave him a brush and a blowout today. A Brazilian blowout. He looks so good. Grandma Lynette's here and Grandpa Joe. They're setting up. Isn't this pretty? You guys, you know what's funny? I came to this baseball field to watch Casey play softball when I was in high school. And now Cooper's playing baseball. Field. It's kind of a crazy story, huh? Small world. And this little guy's been actually so good. Hi, you're being a good boy. Yeah, you're being a good boy. We found a friend that's just the same. He's a little more curly than Amigo. I wish Amigo was more curly. And he's two years old, you said? Yeah. Oh, Amigo, it's the same breed. No wonder why you guys get along. <laughs> <It'd> be nice. <laughs> There's Coop. So this is like the coin flip, right? <laughs> what? Going over the rules. Coop, you little cutie. All right, Coop's out there, number seven. He's playing second. Let's hope he gets a good play. I used to do this. Good eye. There's Coop. Oh, he's cheering him on.
It's ready. Oh, Santa. Santa and Walker. It's not a failure. Remember the arc? That's amigo. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, don't get it. Don't get it. Woo -hoo! Here's Coop coming in. Here's Coop coming in. Nice score, buddy. Woo woo! Just laugh. We need to record it and put it as a ringtone. <laughs> Those three. Oh, wait. <laughs> Good eye, Cooper. Take your base. Good job, buddy. Oh, nice pitch. Good eye, Coop. Good eye. This is Cooper's third at bat. First at bat, he got a hit. Second at bat, he walked. This is his third at bat. Nice! Cinco a cero. To cero. 25 to zero. Whoa, fue, well. fue, fue, uh, I had a double. Well. Cooper got a really good hit. A double. I was really proud of him. Sorry for the audio because you're just going to hear me being like, whoa. But I was so excited for him. Killer calling. Game. But look at him. Good game, buddy. Yeah. Good game. So tomorrow, the whole clan will be here. Jackson's family's coming. We'll have my family here. It's going to be a good day. That huh? baseball game at noon. If we win. No, you we, we go have on. game at eight. And we're in charge of putting on yeah, the barbecue yeah. between, so. Go us, chicken. baseball parents. Chicken. Yeah, we ordered some fried chicken. Yeah. So, yeah. It's gonna go have some country cooking yeah, at this right. diner called JC's in Tremont. Oh, I wanna get some. They have scones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. No. Look, what's her name? Tell us your name. Have to watch Darling. Her Darling. That's no. my nickname. <laughs> Behind yeah, this is Dan. Oh, really and my name is Dar. Really Go ahead, tell her. I'm not going to tell him because I really want to know. <laughs> you have to watch What's Up, Damn it, darling. <laughs> Dale, don't yell Damn at it, her. Darling, you another one. <laughs> I knew we would find one. We're making you're the best. 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 You're the what are the chances? Damn it, darling, we would come all the way out of the country. Dale, yeah, I told another, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a what you call a scone. I got a scone and a turkey and Swiss, an avocado. Dale, what'd you get? Country fried steak. Yeah. French fries. You gotta show your. We have to show our food. I got. I love. What'd you get, food. mom? You just got, I got a grilled, grilled cheese and ham. You love grilled cheese. What'd you get? Oh, Joe got an omelet and some fries. That looks good. And Grandma got a cheeseburger. Look how Grandma, you're beautiful. Look at my Grandma. She's so pretty. You would never know. How old are you, Grandma? 47? Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I'm not saying. About three times I'm 47. <laughs> yeah, right. She's the same age as Merle Haggard. She died. I thought that was somebody in your ward when you said that. I was like, are they in your ward, mom? 